I'm Kaylee, and this is my Victober wrap up. I had so many great plans for Victober, and October kind of kicked my butt, and I had just a lot of non reading days. Let's just put it that way. There was just life things happening, and no time to read or no ability to concentrate and read. Um, but I did get a little bit of Victober reading done. I did the best I could in October. If you would, please do make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me and makes me happy. So one of the challenges that I set myself for Victober was to read Shirley by Charlotte Bronte and I did that and I loved it. And I'm going to do an entirely separate video um, detailing everything that I loved about Shirley and maybe a couple of things that I didn't love, but mostly it's like 99% love. So look for that video coming soon, all about Shirley. Another one of my challenges was to read The Life of Charlotte Bronte by Elizabeth Gaskell. I loved this one too. Something, it's something about the Brontes just is so emotional and strong and powerful and fierce and oh, Brontes, man. So I just loved diving in to their lives and learning about the Bronte sisters and everything. Uh, so I'm gonna do a completely separate video talking about everything I loved about the life of Charlotte Bronte. So be on the lookout for that video as well. I just have too many things to say and it wouldn't all fit into one video. So you're just gonna have to look for it in another video. Now the next challenge was to read the poems by Kerr, Ellis, and Acton Bell, and I did not get to those. I feel like I'm such a mood reader, I really do have to be in the right mood for poetry, and I just, I didn't want to ruin it by forcing myself to read it when I might not enjoy it. So I'm just gonna leave that on my TBR for now, get to it another time, another day, hopefully soon because I really I really am excited about reading the Brontes. It just didn't happen in October, but this one is definitely gonna happen sometime soon. And my next one was to read the kind of snippet um, Emma by Charlotte Bronte, which she never finished because unfortunately she passed away. I actually have two separate editions for this where two different authors take those first few chapters that Charlotte Bronte had written and then they finish the story in the style of her writing but with their own imagining of how she might have finished the story. So I actually have two of these, and I'm just wondering how different authors are going to take these stories in a different direction. I'm not sure what's going to happen there. It'll be interesting to compare and contrast those, but I have not even started. I have not even read those at all. That'll have to be something for another day. Hopefully, I'll get to these soon, though. I'm not sure, though, if I want to just read them back to back, or if I wanna read one one year and then read another one, you know, like the next year, it kind of leaves some some time in between, or I don't know, what do you think? Leave me a comment down below, and if you've read either of these, please let me know what you thought of them. So that's pretty much it for my Victober wrap up. I watched a ton of Victober videos of other people, and I loved hearing about all the Victorian writing and Victorian authors that everyone has been enjoying. And I did finish two of my challenges, so not too bad considering all the other nonsense that October sent my way. <laughs> so all in all, I'm pretty happy with my Victober reading. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know, did you meet all of your goals for Victober or did you surpass your goals or did you even have any goals? Thanks for watching, please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.